Hello and welcome. It is time once again to try to fix something. And today on the workbench, another PS4 Fat, a special edition. Uh, what is it? Um, Black Ops 3, I think. I think that's right. Um, I like these special editions. I kind of, uh, I don't know, I tend to seem to buy those to try to fix. I just, I like the looks of them. You know, it's it's better than the, just the plain black consoles, I think. Um, but I don't, this one I bought some time ago. I don't really remember what its issue was. But um, it's in pretty good shape outside. I notice this cover is not, not down properly. Buttons feel good. Uh, HDMI can actually look good. Let's give it some power and see what we get. Notice the screws are missing back here. Both screws are missing. The security screws. All right, we're plugged in. Do we get a beep? We have standby power. Let me get power. Okay, we're going to come on. I have not even bothered hooking an HDMI up to it yet because I thought it was going to be a no power. Let me see if I can do this. Maybe this is a no video. Maybe this is, I don't know. Oh, white light. So we're coming up in... Uh, Recovery mode, safe mode, whatever you want to call it. I saw it say 480p up there. No video. Maybe it's still thinking about it. The monitor has locked. It has a drive of some kind going to the monitor. So We have a solid white light. Oh, here we are. Cannot access system storage. Is this just a bad hard drive? That's going to be so boring if it's just a bad hard drive. Let's see if that's what it is. All right, the reason it says uh, can't find the hard drive because there is no hard drive in it. So I'm not sure what the original problem was with this, but it is missing a lot of screws. And the screws that are in here, like up here, are the wrong ones. Those should be those little flathead screws. So somebody's been deep into it, and I'm wondering for what reason. Uh, all I can do is I'm going to put a hard drive in it. I believe these these were one terabytes actually in this particular special edition. These were one terabyte drives. So I will put a one terabyte drive in it and see what other problems await us. I can't help but think there's got to be something else wrong with this thing for them to go in so deep into this thing. All right, I have installed a one terabyte drive. Um, let's see if she will come up and recognize us and give us an opportunity to install an operating system. Hit the Blu-ray is making a sound. Like it's trying to eject a disc or something. You hear it? So that usually means something is jacked up. It, you know what? I don't think there's a disc in there, but I think it does. It thinks there's one. So maybe that's some of our issue. It's still doing it. We have a white light, no video. Let me go ahead and get my uh, controller ready to go. I've got a flash drive ready to go. Connect a controller, it says. And press a button. Well, the controller connects, that's good. 6.51 or later. Okay. Let's give it version 9. Okay, that looked good. And let's see if I hit OK. And this is going to take a while. So how about I, I bring you back when this is done? We are making progress. We're not there yet. 53%. This Blu-ray has steadily been, you hear it trying to, I don't know if it's moving the heads or, or what it's trying to do, but it's moving and I don't think it should be. So I'm wondering if if that's the reason why somebody had been into this and opened it up and got those screws all in the wrong, wrong places. Is there an issue with the Blu-ray that we're going to have to sort out? Uh, well, no soon enough. Alright, the console just finished 
it got to the end of that update and it looked like it wanted to reboot it went to do the reboot and just never came back it did shut down the power supply is shut down I think the fans not spinning and I'm not sure if I've ever seen it do that before what happens if I hit the power button nothing oh no it it like it never really finished the update it sure looked like it made it all the way to 100% and then went to do the reboot that it normally does and she just never got there okay I really hate to unplug it in the middle of this update but I don't think it's gonna make any difference we have standby power I don't think she's coming back it's been like over a minute just sitting here just my luck an update gone wrong this was going I think it was from 651 to 9 it really shouldn't be an issue I don't think all right here we go unplugging the power waiting a few seconds plug it back in And let's hope it's not brain dead now. <sighs> Did it corrupt the uh, flash memory? That's not good. That's not good at all okay let's see what's going on all right i let it unplug a little bit longer is that going to do anything no she is brain dead okay tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to, to uh, take the board out and remove the uh, cr232 battery the little battery backup for the clock leave that out and see if that makes any difference Okay, as I'm taking this apart, somebody has been into this Blu-ray drive. Several screws missing. And this is like pushed down, forced back down on there unnaturally in some way. I'm not sure, I just wonder if if the issue with the Blu-ray is causing it not to complete the update. I don't know, that may just be reaching. But, uh, we'll see if it makes any difference if the Blu-ray is out of it. I don't think it will worth a shot all right I have removed the blu-ray drive or removed the hard drive Let's just see if that makes any difference whatsoever no no nothing at all all right I have the uh, PCB out and I was going to remove the battery and I decided to check it first you know see what what kind of voltage it has and Get on those contacts it's dead it's completely dead now is that related to why it didn't finish that update and is now brain dead I don't know but it's very suspicious kind of rare to see a battery totally dead like this unless the south bridge is sucking the juice out of it so that's always an option but yeah I've got nothing here so let me try putting a battery in there and see if it will see if it like kills it immediately or not all right i found another battery laying over here in my pile of junk parts not a new battery but 3.03 volts not bad 3.03 remember that so if i pop this in here does it get sucked down to nothing right away let's find out Ooh, seven tenths. Ooh, something is draining our battery, and that battery connects straight to the south bridge. As far as I know, it doesn't go anywhere else. Hmm, what's up with that? All right, false alarm. Apparently, that battery was just total garbage because I found another one in my pile of parts. That measured 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 3.02, 
uh, before I installed it. And now 3.02. So yeah, I think we're going to be in good shape with that one. Doesn't seem to be being loaded down at all. Let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever in, in how it's behaving. I don't know really. Okay, I've changed out the battery. We've got a, a good battery in there. I don't have the hard drive in it. I don't have the Blu-ray drive in it. It shouldn't need those just to turn on. So, uh, what's going to happen? Nothing. She's still brain dead. Does absolutely nothing. Mm. Not good. All right, we are inside the workbench, and I am very confused. Um, let me show you what I'm looking at here. I've got my, my test harness here for my, with my 5-volt standby on it, and I'm going to connect it, and let me just show you the current draw. Back over there, if I plug in the 4-pin now, that looks somewhat normal. It'll go up to 100 milliamps, and we just kind of hang there forever and ever and if I come back over here let me show you um, this 32 kilohertz oscillator right here that I've had trouble with before I'm not sure how close to you I can get but it is not running I've got some little test pads right up here and get on and not running not at all and I was debating, you know, did we get did we corrupt the, the uh, flash memory when the update didn't finish? Because what I was kind of wondering is if uh, uh, the battery, the CMOS battery, was dead, did that in some way cause it to cause uh, you know corruption in here in the contents of this? Because that was totally you know dead when it was doing the update. I I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing, but. Um, it is very strange to me that oscillator is not running. And I don't really think that oscillator is software based in any way. I don't think it's configured by software. I think it's just a free running crystal oscillator. And that thing should run if there's a, if you have standby power in or if the battery is in. It will it will run it. And, and let me see if I can show you over here on this other board, this good board. Move my uh this stuff over here and well, I can't really do this with one hand. What I was going to show you is that because um, that's how it should look like 32 kilohertz. Um, as soon as you plug in that power I mean just as soon as you plug it in that thing starts oscillating on the good board. It starts running. Um, which makes me think it shouldn't matter you know if you had firmware corruption in here that oscillator should still run I don't think it's a software configured oscillator it's a 32 kilohertz crystal oscillator so went back and looked at the eBay listing that I bought this from and it was listed as no power but we saw it we all saw it turn on so is it just a lucky thing that it did that one time I don't know but I am leaning toward a bad south bridge now simply because I think that oscillator should run I mean no matter what and keep in mind the battery that got drained its job its sole job is to run that oscillator when you're when you're not plugged in it runs that oscillator and it was completely drained coincidence I don't know I don't know but I'm leaning toward a south bridge unless I don't find something else here soon alright before I change out this south bridge why not on the off chance that this crystal has failed or is failing, why don't we change that out? I think I have one right there. I think this is a good one I pulled off another board. Let's give that a try. It's a whole lot quicker and easier than changing the south bridge. All right, our crystal is changed. Uh, I was trying really hard not to use flux because I've had trouble in the past. If flux gets up under that crystal, it kind of, it's kind of game over. It, it won't work. Um, my supply is on. What the heck? Let's see what's happening. Like that. Uh, 
I'm watching the current draw. No, she's still hanging at 100 milliamps. I don't think we did any good whatsoever. Yep. Still no oscillation. Current stuck at 100 milliamps. No joy, no joy. Oh uh, well. Southbridge? Maybe. Alright, well I decided to take a different route. Uh, I kept thinking about you know the series of events and what happened when this thing failed. And I couldn't get past the fact that it was working. It was working until that update. So it, it kind of kept pushing me toward um, firmware corruption. So I pulled the uh, NOR memory IC, checked its contents on the NOR validator, and sure enough there was uh, 21 warnings. So and I looked at that area, and I don't have a lot of experience doing this, but I've, I've, I've messed with it before using a hex editor. I copied the section that was showing um, just uh, corruption. It was showing a bunch of FFs where there shouldn't have been, you know, there should have been zeros or some other values. I copied from a, another firmware that I had stored um, that was hopefully a good one. It was for the corrupted firmware we're working with was 651 and the, my donor firmware was 671. Close. So I'm hoping that it's close enough. I copied that section. I have rewritten it to the firmware and reattached the uh, IC here, I mean, and we are ready to test this thing. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I had already shut off my power supply and everything for the evening, but I decided to give this, you know, one last try. Because I kept thinking. It just seemed like, you know, it was working. Um, until that update. So, I'll be able to tell if this is working or not, or doing anything any different, based upon the current draw over there. So, I got my ground hooked up. I've got my 5 volts here. Let's just watch the old ammeter over here. i like get over here, and let's see what happens when I attach this. Well, it would probably help if I turned on the supply. All right, now let's see what happens. It looks normal. It's going up. And we're still hanging. We're still hanging. And I'm going to guess that our um, clock is still not running. Let's find out. Although there is flux all up under this clock. She is not running. All right, what about for the heck of it? Let's uh, clean around this really well. Volts. 24 milliamps up to 99.100 and we hang there. No difference. Nope, no difference. No help whatsoever. Well, it's time for an update on this. Where are we now? Um, I, I decided to pull the firmware, of course. I mean, pull the uh, NOR flash and check that for corruption and it there was some corruption. Um, so I repaired that, I think, and put that back on there. And that made no difference. I mean, the, the 32 kilohertz oscillator was still not running. I mean, nothing. Uh, the current draw was the same. It, it would you know, hang about 100 milliamps just sit there. So I still was not ready to give up. I, I tried the, uh, I swapped this crystal, the 32 kilohertz crystal, with a, one from a uh, known good on, on a working board. Because the one I had laying here, I, I thought was good, but you know, you're never 100% sure. I don't remember where I took it from, but I swapped with a, this with another working board, no, no difference. 
and the crystal I put on the working board then worked fine on that board. So it's not the crystal. I've swapped out, you know, twice, two different crystals on there. I know that's a good crystal. So then I decided to just give up and replace the south bridge. Now I was trying to avoid that because I didn't have any that were reballed and ready to go. I have some ordered, but uh, I think I have 10 coming from AliExpress, but they're not here and who knows when they're going to get here. But I did have one, uh, you know, from another company that they don't reball them. They just pull them and throw them in a bag. So I had to reball that one, which is kind of a slow process, but it is what it is. So I was able to reball one and remove the old South Bridge. I have now installed my, you know, previous one owner low mileage South Bridge. We hope that's good. And we are at the point of testing. I've been letting the board cool off. There's my old South Bridge over there which I'm not going to get rid of yet because it may still be good. We won't know, but I'm very interested to see if this uh, oscillator is now running or not, or if the current draw changes. So let me get set up and make sure this thing's cooled off enough, and we'll, and we'll see what's, if we've done any good. Okay, so the board has cooled off enough. My power supply is set up over there for 4.8 volts. Uh, I've got my ground connected. My scope's connected, ready to check, but I think, uh, I think the current draw will tell the story. Let's just see what happens. So we, let's see, let me get ready here, and let's see what happens. That's normal. Oh no. The exact same behavior. Exact same behavior. It's not the South Bridge. What is it? Let me just confirm. Is this oscillator running right here? No. Oh, look at there. It started oscillating. And the thing booted up. When I put my probe on it, she started oscillating. You can see it there, 32 kilohertz. And I saw that current go up to 150 milliamps or something. What gives? Do I just have something up underneath this south bridge? Or under the crystal that's keeping it from working now? Because she's running right now. That's weird. Because I bet you right now if I press this power button... She'll try to turn on. Yep. Tried to turn on. Okay. Let me kill this current. Now, what's it going to do this time? That's normal. That's hanging at 90. That's not good. Okay. She's not going to run. That's not a good startup. Once again, is our oscillator running? I'm going to put my probe right there. Look at it start oscillating. And look at the current go up. Okay. What's going on with this? The whole problem is that the oscillator is not running. But I don't know why it's not wanting to start up normally on its own without me. I'm basically probably adding some added capacitance to it when I put this probe on it. And for some reason that helps it get started building its oscillation. Let me look at that real close in that area. Let me take a look. I'll look at that real close. I have cleaned underneath the crystal. I removed it. Had lots of flux under it. it. It always makes its way up under there. But I have cleaned up under the crystal. And I tried to check those capacitors while the crystal was out. I can only get a reading on the one on the, on the right there. The, the 20, uh, it's a 27 picofarad or 22. I'm not sure. Um, I looked at another board that I have that the crystal has been taken off of and the south bridge. So there's nothing to interfere. And there was only the right capacitor on that board. And it measured, I think, 22 picofarads. I don't want to probably work if I have to replace them, but it's 
They're not shorted. I kind of doubt they've gone bad, but uh, I do have some. I've looked and I do have some of, of that size. So if we have to, we'll do that. But right now, I'm going to try making sure it's very clean underneath the uh, crystal. Let's just see what happens here now after our cleaning. All right, I'm going to get ready. Watch that current. That looks much better. Now come back down. There we go. I'll take that. That looks like a normal startup, I call it. I don't think the crystal, I've changed out the crystal like three times. It couldn't have been the crystal the whole time. I think we had a bad south bridge, I think. I don't know how much I would trust it to put it back in another, another uh, uh, console. And she should try to turn on. She does. Didn't see the light. Where's the light? Let's try that again. Yes, that looks good. That's good. I'm sure this oscillator is running now. I'll just show it to you for the for the heck of it. Let me get right there. Oh yeah, we're running. That's on the right side. I think it shows to be a little bit a little bit higher amplitude on the left side. But there you can see it. Yeah, she's running like she should now. And I think she'll turn on. I do want to see that uh, blue light. It's the only time I like to see a blue light. There's no light. That's not good. Are the, are the uh, LEDs busted? Let me check on this. Well, I've turned it on on the bench here with a supply and a tiny heat sink. And I got a white light. You can see it there. Flash blue for a while and then it went white. So I'm not sure why it wasn't lining up earlier. This is something weird about, you know, that firmware corruption that I had to patch on. This is ready to be tried outside in the in the frame. Yes, sir. We are back out in the garage and I think we're ready to test. I have its power supply, its original supply back in there, the hard drive that you know we were trying to install software on not sure if that ever finished i don't have the blu-ray drive in there but i think i found out why it was like it was trying to act like there was a disc in it all the time i noticed this cable which is the one for all the micro switches it was all chewed up and wedged in here it was like just wedged up in the blu-ray drive and you can see it's if i can get it to focus it's got like a i don't know Something is shorted across the contacts, and, and let me put this thing down. I don't know if I can get it to zoom into it, but if you take a look at it, it's almost like a screw went into it. See that round? So something was shorting it, which is probably why it was acting like there was a disc in there, because it probably thought there was one, doing all kind of random stuff. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to see this thing turn on. Come on. I know you've been through a lot. I saw it lock. Okay, safe mode. I'll take safe mode. Nice white light. Lots of fan spinning. It may overheat. I have not replaced the thermal paste yet. Okay. It's, it's upset about its software. I don't blame it. Had a hard couple of days here. Oh, it wants 9.0 or later. Okay. Hmm. So do I do that without a Blu-ray in it? Hmm. Will it do it or will it just fail? I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried it. Let's find out, shall we? I mean, in theory, all it should do is just fail and give us a nice error message. This is going to take a while. We've been here before, though, haven't we? I'll bring you back. We're progressing. Progressing. 99%. Hmm.
Okay. We completed it. I think the fan speed dipped down momentarily. Blue light. Oh, come on. The suspense is killing me. flashing away down here oh now we're installing the update file okay and after several restarts up and downs and progress bars here we are he completed successfully she's back to life well, that was a long road and I almost gave up a few times but I hope it was somewhat entertaining, educational, or something. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now.